Hi everyone, I'm Ashley Myers-Goff, Senior Performance Coach here at Seven Geese, and today I'm going to offer some tips on how to have career conversations remotely. Most of us are still in this remote working world, and I'm sure we've all been inundated with tips and tricks on how to transition to remote work. So today I want to offer some specific tips around having career conversations remotely. Our regular one-on-one -on -one best practice remote conversation tips apply here. So if you're new to that, check out some of our previous videos. But as a reminder, we want to make sure that we have our cameras on. We want to make sure we've got a predictable agenda that both our managers and team members know exactly what to expect. We want to ensure that we're providing an opportunity for small talk at the beginning for relationship building and context switching. And we want to check in with our team members regularly during the conversation to see how feedback is landing. So all of those tips definitely apply with career conversations, but we suggest adding in these three particular things for this type of conversation. Number one is to use open-ended questions and allow the space for thoughtful reply. When we're talking about that longer term vision that we have for ourselves, we've often romanticized where it is that we want to land. So helping your team member really unpack what their vision is will lead to meaningful insights and can help change some directions from it being an idea to being reality. The next tip we encourage you to use is around documenting the progress that your team member is making towards their career goals. Oftentimes we lose sight of how far we've come over a longer period of time. So here at Seven Geese, we use our role and growth templates to make sure that we're still tracking towards exceeding those expectations for our current role and the competencies associated with it and upskilling ourselves towards those future roles that we've identified. We have a very clear plan this way to know exactly what's expected in the next role that we want to move into and we can prepare ourselves by working towards those responsibilities by earmarking growth opportunities. Last up, we recommend that you revisit this career plan often with your team members. Many times we had plans for ourselves when we were younger about what we wanted to be when we grew up, but as we gained some life experience and educated ourselves, those plans may have changed. Our career plans are no different, so we want to make sure we're encouraging our team members to revisit those documented plans so that if they did think they'd enjoy something and as they start upscaling themselves towards it, they find that they're not enjoying it, then we can transfer those skills into another opportunity. So to revisit those three tips that we encourage you to use for career conversations remotely on top of our one-on-one -on -one tips, we want to make sure we're using open-ended questions that allow for thoughtful reflection on where our team member wants to head. We want to document the progress that we're making on our current role as well as those future roles that we've identified to move into. And we want to make sure we're revisiting this plan often with our team members so they can see just how far they've come and have a really clear understanding of what would be expected for them in their next opportunity. To see how we do this at Seven Geese using our Seven Geese career features, reach out for a tour.